Stress comes from a feeling of lack of control when an organization is caught in a complex web of problems. Often, actions taken to deal with one set of problems leads to another, creating an inescapable vicious loop. Most equipment manufacturing companies experience severe month-end skew in production and dispatches. Because of this, a proper net off of inventory can be undertaken only after the end of the month. Consequently, the monthly production plan is only made towards the start of the subsequent month. Since this month's plan is the realistic one, all departments and component vendors prioritize and start work based on the latest month's requirements. A full month plan allows every part producer to prioritize orders based on their own efficiency considerations. With different part producers having different considerations, there is desynchronized material flow. That is, some parts arrive early in the month, some later. So, towards the second half of the month, the company starts expediting for the missing parts. Consequently, the availability of all parts needed for assembly improves towards the end of the month. This leads to a month-end skew in production and dispatches. Because of the skew, there is a time lag between customer billing and company billing. As a result, receivables on the books of the company stay high. This, in turn, leads to working capital issues for the company. In such circumstances, vendor payments are often delayed. This will every so often plunge the vendors into their own working capital issues. Consequently, the parts needed from vendors are not always available on time. Further aggravating desynchronization of parts available for production. This lack of availability of certain parts jeopardizes the overall production targets. At the same time, frequent expediting also leads to many unplanned setups in critical work centers, which in turn also impacts overall plant output. Under pressure, Plants are compelled to pull ahead orders for which parts are available and complete assembly. But since customers' site may not be ready, they are unlikely to accept orders early, so they remain in the finished goods inventory. This adds to the company's working capital issues. The ballooning of WIP towards the middle of every month caused by desynchronization of material flow further aggravates the company's working capital problems. Meanwhile, desynchronization of available parts delays some customer orders. When such delays happen, often in addition to following up on receivables, the sales team's bandwidth is also used up in expediting these orders. Without much time available to dedicate to new customers, the sales team is unable to grow new business segments. In such circumstances, sales is highly dependent on the existing restricted customer base. This puts sales growth under pressure. Therefore, the sales team feels compelled to take whatever orders are available, irrespective of the available plant capacity at that time. So time to time, the plant is unable to cope, and this delays orders again. Many companies are trying to deal with this conflict by standardizing parts to reduce variety, but pressure of sales again forces customization. However, some companies have found out ways to get out of this stressful vicious loop. Click on the link to understand how they could de-stress to deliver.